we need freedom of pricing. So we need to know, hey, when is something relatively scarce so that we either invest more in new ways of finding it and producing it, or we invest uh, in other things. Because there is such a thing as a material that's very scarce on earth that you might not want to base your entire economy on. And part of freedom and pricing uh, allows you uh, to do that. But then there's also just freedom of development to when you're dealing with these physical resources, you need to constantly impact nature. And you have this movement that says, hey, it's wrong to impact nature and it's self-destructive. It's going to deplete and damage nature. And so we see this now with the energy crisis. What's happened is they've said, hey, let's not invest in development of fossil fuels. Let's not allow people to produce fossil fuels. Let's not allow people to transport fossil fuels. And so what this has done, they haven't at all been successful to their dreams but they've been successful enough to slow the growth of fossil fuels through these restrictions. And that has artificially suppressed the supply and post pandemic. And, you know, with the Russian conflict, you have demand and going up. And so what happens is you have skyrocketing prices and it's leading to suffering all, you know, all around the world in it. But it's interesting how the thing I'm pointing out is these false ideas about resources actually make usable resources scarce. Because the more you believe that it's wrong and self-destructive to, to develop, then you won't develop. And then resources will be more scarce than they would otherwise be. Yeah.